What you just saw was a design for my own portfolio website. Still, there's nothing on my uh, own website, rinodeboer.com. Uh, so I want to have a portfolio on that website. So I was designing it in Adobe XD and I shared some of the designs uh, via my Instagram story. And a lot of people said like, yo, that's cool. Can you make a video about it? And I was like, all right. I'm gonna show you how I did it, why I did certain things. And then in the next few weeks, I'm gonna transform this Adobe XD web design to a real website in WordPress with animation, scroll effects, and we're gonna make it really cool. It's a very simple website. As you can see, it's four pages. So this is my own portfolio website. I chose to only focus on web design and web development. So it makes it really easy to understand my portfolio, but it also makes it easier to design and fill the content because it's just one topic. There's focus um, and that's my new strategy. So let's just dive in. We're going to zoom in on the homepage. Um, and as you can see, we have a big header image. I will just make this bigger and I want to make this background a video. So when you come on the website, uh, a lot of things are moving already. Then I want this part, uh, which are my services. I want it to, you know, move from bottom to the current position. Um, there's a little signature here. That's just a font, but it looks like it's handwritten. And here are four pages. Uh, when, and when the page is active, there's this little line um, to indicate that you're on that page. So these are the four services, very simple. It's, it's all focused on website creation. So there's website design, there's website development, which of course, you know, I'm gonna do in WordPress. Um, updates and backups, because that's what clients uh, oftentimes want. And uh, monthly reports of the results of the website. Then I'm gonna show them like, why is it so important? And also, and also make them interested in Cool web design so there are a few examples here and here are a few reasons uh, on why it's so important to have you know a good website then I'm gonna show them proof uh, about the clients that I have more proof with testimonials uh, so uh, three different client testimonials with little text and a, and a little photo um, and then I want to introduce them to the portfolio so they don't have to click, um, you know, they don't have to scroll up and click on the portfolio. Um, they could just go to the portfolio right away. And then they get a little preview here of two items. Um, so you really, you know, there's a really good call to action to get to the portfolio. And then there's the footer. I, I kept everything really simple and clean so I can create this website fast. And that's also cool when I make a tutorial about it that it's just easy to make for other people too, uh, if you wanna have a portfolio. So here's the call to action. And when you click on this button, you will go to the, the portfolio page. Um, and I've tried to make it a little bit more creative while keeping it simple uh, by using colors in the text. So it really, you know, it pops more, <laughs> make it pop. And then it's just a very simple grid uh, with a few websites that I created. Now there's four websites. Um, these are actually not websites that I created, just templates that I just put in there. So I have some content. Um, as you can see, there's no real content here. Um, but this is just a placeholder uh, for now. On every page I've used this curved lines, uh, which also makes it a little bit more creative. And then here are links to get to the full website. So I don't have to, you know, make all the different pages for every portfolio item and the client can actually see the, the results. All right, so then we have the about page and here I have, you know, played with the columns and I've placed the titles here. Uh, so the content is not really wide, so it's just nice, quick and easy to read. Um, and it's also, you know, it creates more white space, which, which makes it really clean. There's a photo of me, of course. Um, I really, you know, don't like portfolios where there's no photo of the actual person um, because, you know, companies want to work with the person, right? Um, it's not only about your work, it's also about you. So um, now here is a, uh, is a tab 
these are tabs and now I, I want to show you something because I didn't design this and my previous design looked like here are some uh, other versions that I made looked like this and then I was like okay well if I want to make this into a real website with WordPress with Elementor that I use this is you know pretty hard to do with those different colors here so I was like well let's just look at the features um, that Elementor offers and they have this tab uh, feature so I was like okay let's just insert the colors uh, of my actual design into Elementor then screenshot it and bring it back into XD so now I don't have to worry that if I design something in XD I cannot make it uh, in, in WordPress so that's a little trick that you can also use if you want to make sure that your design can actually be built you know try look at the elements that your website builder offers and then use that to fill your design here is a section for the software so this was the workflow those are all the steps that i do when i work with a client this is the software that i use um, this is also something that i think is really cool in a portfolio um, because clients you know if they know wordpress and they know photoshop they they will think like oh well he you know knows the professional software so that must be good right they maybe already use google analytics and google drive for their file management uh, so that also creates a lot of trust and then to create more trust i have inserted an faq um, which are some questions and this is also uh, a screenshot from elementor and i've adjusted the colors to my website and you know the colors i've saved in here so then I just go to Elementor, I just pick a color and then a screenshot that come back to XD and then I just put it in my design. Um, if you don't know what Elementor is, watch my previous video, I'll put it in the card. It's a drag and drop page builder where you can build a website really fast uh, in WordPress. All right, and now for the last page, this is uh, the contact page. I struggled a lot with this because there's not a lot of information and you don't want to make the page feel empty. So. I just put this big card, this big map uh, on the top. I've put a photo of myself here in the background um, where I'm looking at something. So the text is looking for something cool, you know, and I'm also looking. Uh, so that's a little joke. And then here is some contact information with my social media. And then there's the footer again. And when I showed this design on my Instagram, um, some people asked like, hey, what's your process? How do you work? Um, so I'm going to show you a little bit of that. What I first did, yeah, the, the actual first thing that I did was structure the pages. And I think it's really important that you do this up front. Like you don't have to follow this very strictly, but at least when you're designing, you could just focus on the design and not think about the content. It, this works like a checklist. So on my home, I, I want to check all these boxes, right? So I have my services, uh, about intro. I actually didn't do that. Uh, my clients, portfolio intro. You know, I almost did everything that's on here. Um, so that's the first thing that I did. And then I started looking for inspiration. Um, so I downloaded a lot of templates and other designs from the internet to get some inspiration for the style that I wanted. Um, and I specifically downloaded the pages that I knew I needed. Um, so for example, here is a contact page. You know, I wanted to work with images, with photos. So as you can see, most of the websites that I downloaded have it, this big header on top, um, like all of them here. So that's what I also did in my design. So I used this to get inspiration for the actual sections that I designed. Um, and I think this is way better to have it in your design file than having it, you know, with a thousand tabs open in your, uh, in your browser. Uh, so you could just, you know, look really fast and then, you know, go back and, um, and design something yourself. And then I downloaded some icons. Uh, I downloaded the icons from um, flaticon.com where you can actually get the icons for free. And then I started designing and, you know, made all the elements. And here you see, you know, a few tests that I did. Uh, as I said, I really struggled with making the contact page interesting. So here you can see my versions. And here I tested with the three column section. And as you can see here, first I had a three column uh, design for my portfolio section. Uh, but a good friend of mine said, well, it actually looks like a template website. So I thought he had a really good point. So I made it a two column website and then, you know, it just looks a lot more like a portfolio. So, you know, here you can see my process. 
trying different styles here with a straight line um, and here with the curved line so that's actually what I did. I hope it, it answered uh, the questions that you guys had uh, about this design. And I'm planning to build this design into a real website in WordPress in the next upcoming weeks. And I will also make videos about that, how you can do that within Elementor, within WordPress. Um, so that's it for today. I hope you liked this video. If you did, let me know and I will see you next week.